And at night, I carry mountains on my back. The art of poetry has often been called simply the art of paying attention, an attentiveness that can actually sensually transport us to other realms. This is actually true of all the arts. And yes, even in my opinion, including the sciences. This is true because each one of us is blessed with the gift of the human mind and its ability to learn, to grow, and to change. This gift of consciousness gives us vision, command, and compassion. So tonight, we do celebrate 20 years of building the dream in Soul Science and Arts Academy, a national community school model where children learn in dual immersion curriculum within a creative campus culture operating a beautiful new urban facilities. Two decades of beautiful work is something to celebrate from 70 students in the beginning to 1,000 enrolled students today and with 1,000 families on the waiting list. The arts and sciences often show us afresh the things we know best, but now we see these common things perhaps in a new revelation, as if we are seeing these things for the first time. We are all familiar with mirrors and windows. In order to share my frame and my perspective on the phenomenal power and extraordinary potential of El Sol Science and Arts Academy, let's look at these familiar things in a new light. Most People are mirrors, merely reflecting the moods and tensions of the time. Few people are windows, bringing light to bear on the dark corners where troubles fester. And the whole purpose of education is to turn mirrors into windows. These are the words of Sidney Harris, a Chicago-born, Chicago-based journalist who wrote these, this particular thought in 1978. There's a lot of reasons why this was written then, but I want to go into that. But to drive home the power of this particular metaphor, mirrors and windows, imagine yourself for a second in an enclosed room with nothing but mirrors on all the walls, and the only thing you can see are reflections of yourself and your own thoughts. Now, imagine yourself in a different room. This room only has windows on all the walls, and you can see the light and life outside. From which experience will you learn more about yourself? Curiously, we actually learn more about ourselves if we turn away from the mirror and look to the sunlight in the window. We discover others are indispensable to us for our self-knowledge and for our growth. The pandemic made us all more personally aware of our essential human need for social relationships like this joyous evening. Real, not virtual. We become holy ourselves only through interaction with others and most notably through love, which is an act of self-giving by the effort it demands of us, 
by the intimate light it creates, by the feeling suddenly born within us, every relationship we make shows us how intermingled and inseparable our self-knowledge and knowledge of others. Good teachers know this. Each day, El Sol Academy is transformed into beauty as each teacher welcomes students into their classroom filled with natural light shining like gifts of knowledge. As the sun rises day in and day out, El Sol teachers open windows of light, of knowledge, teaching in two languages, preparing students to pursue their dreams. Talking about dreams, we just completed our midterm elections, and the one thing we are certain of is that our democracy remains divided and polarized in political paralysis. We are all in pain, and from this divided space, we rage against ourselves and each other as we struggle and nourish our hunger for a more perfect union. A society that fails to appreciate the arts, remains fearful of our past, undermines the role of science, and begins to turn away from reality. And our place in it is a society entering into a profoundly troubled moment. And it is here, in this very troubled moment, where the role of El Sol and our work with this community comes into vital play. With growing economic inequality, the American dream is being undermined and shrinking among the middle class. But here, at El Sol, located in a low-income, working-class community, the American dream is being nurtured and reborn every single day. By meeting the real needs of the families, and by opening windows of opportunity for healthy development and creative learning, El Sol has become an essential institution for this community. The radiance of El Sol reaches far, and like the sun, it can be challenging to gaze directly at the brilliant rays of light emanating from El Sol. Science and Arts Academy, just keeping up with the brilliant El Sol alumni in their academic journeys to Yale, Harvard, Berkeley, Stanford, UCLA, and UCI is dazzling enough. But of course, there is more. El Sol is an original innovator with tested resilience, established academic success, and recognized as among the top dual immersion schools in the nation all occurring with participating families that daily face multiple challenges. And as originally envisioned, many innovative educational practices initiated at El Sol are now being adapted in other schools. And I'm not even mentioning their beautiful music, the folklore dancers, and the poets of El Sol books published by UC Press. Well, I recently visited El Sol campus on a secret mission to see if the classrooms actually had windows. <laughs> From my first sight of the delightful, magical, and culturally colorful murals that greet the visitor, my visit turned into a glowing, radiant, dazzling, blazing, soul-swelling experience in simply seeing the energetic joy of the place often conveyed in the smiles of the students. The classrooms, well, where am I? Okay. Just visit El Sol for yourself and see the fire in the students' eyes, the inner glow of attention and true learning. Oh, and by the way, I am happy to report 
that in Seoul classrooms have the biggest windows I have ever seen in any school in my entire life. And I have seen a lot of schools. The classroom become windows filled with natural light. And this sunshine reminded me of the wise saying, one book, one pen, one child, and one teacher can change the world, turning mirrors into windows indeed. The arts, as well as the sciences, help reveal ourselves to ourselves by providing a window to the world, helping us to reinvent and reimagine a better future. El Sol is playing a pivotal role in transforming the lives of young students in a challenging learning culture imbued with kindness, creativity, and courage. Key values for leaders in the 21st century. And Seoul's phenomenal success is not the end of the story. Desire, by its very nature, is infinite and insatiable, which means we never quite reach perfection. When we reach a summit, we simply discover a higher summit just beyond. And as in our past, we will face and we will overcome future obstacles. But at 20 or 22, we have the confidence, courage, and compassionate partners to continue building the dream by providing the best educational experience we as a community of purpose are capable of providing. El Sol's future is as bright as the sun. Thank you very much. for over, oh, I don't know how many, 15 years. So um, it's my pleasure to be up here with him. I, we knew that he would give a stirring speech about the school, and you do so much. I don't know how many people know, but um, Manuel comes and gives workshops on poetry with Sue Cron Miller, um, has done classes with other folks, and so he is in the trenches um, all the time with Il Sol. So thank you so much for your amazing words. You mentioned creativity, kindness, compassion, those are all values that I think all of us can learn more about um, and to practice it every day. So thank you. And here's some tequila. <laughs>